So I love to play music um, of all types, really. And I got this idea yesterday afternoon where it's like, what if I drew an instrument on a piece of paper and I could point at notes on that instrument and have the audio be generated? Uh, the tricky thing about that is that models like GPT or Gemini are multimodal in the sense that they can see what's on this paper, but they can't necessarily synthesize or generate the audio. And so I matched up a synthesizer just in Python with that sort of image generation bit. Um, and so if I put this, this piano under my webcam, like that, and I run my program, like this, the first thing it's going to try to do is figure out, okay, what instrument do I see? And then it's going to start a synthesizer for that instrument. So in this case, it's starting a, um, a keyboard slash piano. Um, now, when I tried to point at notes to play them one by one, it didn't work so well. It couldn't figure out where I was pointing. But if I have this sort of thing, this square, and I put it around the note, um, it can kind of work. So if I put it around D, I can play a D. I move it down to A. It can play an A. If I bring it up to all the way up to F, it can do that. So of course there's a delay. You know that um, the the movie Big, where Tom Hanks plays that giant piano in FAO Schwartz. My dream was to kind of have that and have it be very much real time. As you can see, there's not only a delay in inferencing with Gemini Flash, it's sub second, but it's still meaningful. And then there's some sort of bug in my synth, synth setup where there's a, a delay there. So there's a bit of debugging. Um, but the other thing I really wanted to be able to do was draw any kind of instrument and to have the model essentially come up with something random to play it as. So let's say that I want to draw, bring this back up, I don't know, like a flower, like this, with five petals. If I don't label the notes, Gemini tends to get very confused, so I unfortunately do have to label them <laughs> in some way. Um, and to kind of have an element of randomness, where if I rerun the program, Nope. It's going to try to identify what the instrument is and come up with something random if it doesn't know. So it's going to use power for flower, whatever that is, and it's going to try to generate notes. So let's see what's going to happen. So let's put it around C. Okay, it saw an F. I think this is like a percussion synth. Oh gosh. kind of getting there. So yeah, that's um, that's the long-term dream. But um, yeah, I think uh, getting the latency down is good. I mean, this isn't a live video feed into Gemini. Um, this is just every, a frame every 250 to 500 milliseconds. So that, again, there's obviously a lag. So that's what I want to work on and also like be able to generate chords. That would be really cool too. So yeah, just a random prototype of something to do.